If you couldn't tell by now, this channel is supposed to be all about tech. And this is also the reason why I never did anything like tools. Take a screwdriver. I never did a screwdriver video. Not because it's really not the most interesting topic in the world, but I, I, I didn't know what to say about a screwdriver. That being said, especially Be Quiet Screwdriver was present on the, on the channel a bunch of times. I made a couple of jokes in the video and I praised them a lot for including one of those when you buy a freaking cooler. Something that I think is an amazing step to get your name everywhere. However, things change. Be Quiet is not the screwdriver company anymore. Recently, Huto, if I pronounced that correctly, started the biggest Instagram marketing campaign I ever seen. Everybody got Hoto stuff. Even everybody's dog got Hoto stuff. And they also sent us a bunch of Hoto stuff. And usually I wouldn't do a video about it. They would take a couple of pictures, post them, and I'm fine. However, I enjoy their stuff so much that I decided that they deserve a video because their screwdriver is freaking amazing. So let's get to it. So Hoto sent over two things. The first one is the Hoto 3.6 volt cordless driver. Now, ignoring the fact that they definitely need a, a product name for something other than cordless driver, uh, screwdriver, it's, uh, yeah, it's an electric screwdriver. And this is what you basically get. It exists in different colors. I got the, the blue one because, um, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. And the first thing that popped immediately into my eye is the, is the fact that this is metal. This is solid freaking metal. And price-wise, uh, the screwdriver is not like, like crazy expensive uh, considering what, what other screwdrivers cost. So this is basically what you will get, a screwdriver with a, a, a dual button to up and down, which is basically up is right, down is left, or, or screw in, screw out. And this top portion here can be twisted to, to set it to off, level 1, level 2, level 3, and to be honest, I have no idea what level 1, 2 or 3 mean. I guess it's force, but it is, is it explained? But it's... Nowhere explained. That was not the best idea, Hodo. So I don't know. I guess it's the amount of torque. Uh, however, for what I use the screwdriver, I'm not using like a torque limiter. I'm using my hand where, where the screwdriver starts to turn in my hand when, when the torque is reached. At the tip, you got a small little LED, so you basically see what the hell you're doing. Inside the other portion of the box, which can act like a stand, so you can no, put it on the table and uh, enjoy having a nice little screwdriver stand. Uh, you have all of the dips. Um, the most important for uh, any PC builder will be the, the Philips head, of course. And they are pretty long, but that's also important because otherwise you will never reach those uh, motherboard screws. They're also quite important. Uh, those things in, in the beginning are crazy magnetic. So you can wiggle them around and you need a bit of force until the screw lets go of the dip, of the, the little tip there. Of course, it, this is a magnet, not, uh, you know, it's not, it's not magic. It will not keep it, keep it forever. Uh, so you maybe want to buy, I have no idea what mine is, like those magnetizing tools at some point to remagnetize the tip. That, that will be necessary after a couple of years of usage. Uh, but for the beginning, this is amazing. Inside you will get a 1.5 amp hour battery. I have no idea how much this thing uses, so I can't like, you know, uh, put it into perspective. However, okay, this is going to be complicated. I got this thing before the last review cycle. So how I do it, I plan a month, I get all the stuff, I buy all the stuff, I get all what I need, and then I record like 15 videos in a row. Uh, among the last 15 videos uh, were all of those Noxia that I've explained, Arctic that I've explained, um, best radiator fan video. That was like those five videos were in one review cycle. So what I had to do is install hundreds of, of fan configurations on radiators, cases, on, on heat sinks, and, 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 and. And especially for cases, for example, that's, I believe case, installing case fan is like the most annoying part of building a PC. However, with this thing, it's, it's beautiful. It worked so well. So, in, in the last month, or the month and a half, where I had this thing, I used it 
excessively every day, all the time, uh, non-stop, and, and it was in really heavy use. And I never charged it. I got it, I used it, it's now working for a month and a half, I'm building PCs. Let's say I, I built a total of maybe 20, 25 PCs in that time and I never charged it. And I never even had to charge it when I got it. It was, it was fully charged, right? I suppose it was fully charged. So in the body we'll get a USB-C charging port, which is quite shocking considering the fact that my phone does not even have a USB-C, but my screwdriver has, which is uh, quite interesting and Tim Apple should think about that. So, um, when I got this thing, I was, let's say, very conservative. The reason for that is, the reason for that is that many moons ago, I got this thing, which is, yeah, it's, it's a wow stick, um, which was not that wow. Uh, it's essentially the same thing, but like very small. And this is more like, like precise work, you know, like, like phones and, and that kind of stuff. However, you also have the, the tips to, um, to screw in and out, like normal sized Phillips head screws. So this is in theory like uh, okay for PCs, but the torque that this thing can produce is not even, not even a fraction of what you need to screw in any screw inside of a build. Uh, so I was negatively, I suppose, negatively surprised with that thing when I used it over the last few years and I just stopped using it because I, I couldn't. And when I got this from Hodo, I was like, yeah, we will, we will see. But no, this is amazing. I just used this in the last few months to install PCs and I will not stop to use just this to install PCs. Not to say that a specific company should like level up their gear, but uh, I will not use the screwdriver anymore. So of course the screwdriver is in uh, theory for everything. I mean, nobody will stop you from screwing in whatever you want. However, I, I just want to say that the amount of torque that this thing produces may not be... Yeah. Because you, you can keep the, the screwdriver in hand and then release it, but it will put the torque on, for example, the motherboard. So um, this is amazing for everything what is like radiator screws or, uh, or fan screws or mainboard screws. But if you have something that uh, will die when you put on too much torque, you may want not to use this. Um, everything from CPU heat sinks. GPU water blocks. Do not screw in GPU water blocks with this. You will you will not kill your car, but the the possibility is there. Um, I've used it a lot to move to to remove and install those AMD brackets, and it works fine if you have like the feeling in in hand to to let go of the screwdriver and let it spin along in its own axis before it spins the motherboard. That works. Uh, but if you put, for example, like a Noxia Cuda on there, where you have the, the two screws, you really don't want to do that. This thing will put so much torque on it, um, it's, it's unnecessary. But especially for case fans, which is the reason why I started to love this thing, I mean, there is nothing easier than a screwdriver like this. No hassle. It, it doesn't annoy me anymore. And it took a second. And when I had to install like, oh, what was it? I think a total of like 15 sets of fans. And I had to do it again and again and again in different cases and different setups and here and there. And each and every time was a process of a couple of minutes. It, I, I'm just doing like two screws per fan because I'm a maniac. So, uh, but still it's a, a very annoying process and each and every time it just took a couple of minutes, which is amazing. I don't know how to put it differently, but Hodo made everything right with this thing and uh, I will not stop to use it <laughs> at all. I love it. Hodo also sent over another piece of equipment, um, which I have not used until now. I made a couple of pictures, but I have not used it. And it is this brushless drill, which is, Essentially the same thing like their uh, screwdriver, but a lot bigger and a lot stronger and a good little display. Now I have a drill with a display. So this is the thing 
that they sent over. Again, it has a USB-C charging port, unlike my phone. Very good job, Apple. And as you might have expected, it's a drill, so it's a lot bigger and it and it got an interesting sound. Yeah. So the the thing that intrigued me the most about this thing is that little monitor in the back, which is basically uh, uh, showing how much force or torque it is putting on um, on the, the the bit you put in the front. Uh, then you got two modes on this. You got the screw mode and you got the um, the drill mode. And basically, it's when you when you're screwing in, it is limited to uh, 370 RPM and if you put it into um, into drilling mode it is unlocked to 1400 RPM so yeah um, surprisingly the sound is like one to one the same thing but if you if you look at the the top you can see that it is spinning at different speeds. Inside the box you will get the usual stuff that you need, like a USB-C charging cable, which is not included with my phone. Then you will get two of those, one with um, different screw tips, you have Phillips, you have uh, all of the other weird stuff. And you also got the really weird stuff, this is like a triangular thing. Um, I, I, I am unsure for what this is, I think the switch has done something like that. And then they will also include some uh, with actual drills. Um, if this is standard, this is, yeah, this is wood. Uh, so the light ones are made for wood. Somewhere it says the thicknesses, yeah, you got uh, four, five, six, and seven millimeters. And then uh, the black ones are from metal, there you got, what, three, four, five, and six. Uh, so yeah, you can drill stuff, you can Whatever you want to do with it, you can do with it. Okay, I prepared a bunch of stuff. So, the reason for, for today's video, because normally I, I'm not doing tool reviews, that's not my thing, but I enjoyed particularly this screwdriver so freaking much that I I believed I, I need to make some sort of video about it to, you know, spread awareness and all that kind of crap, because uh, I think it's amazing. So, yeah, if anybody needs a really, really good screwdriver that can be used for uh, a longer time, and especially to build PCs, here you go. That being said, uh, I, I cannot just make a video about something. I, I need to have like a premise or a very, very stupid idea. And I got a very stupid idea. Because this Hoto brushless drill has a very special and unique function that uh, no other brushless drill has. Yeah, 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 screw you, Bosch. This has something special. This has a very unique feature, which I will call the airflow driller. Um, this can make a, a very, very bad case a not so much bad case. <laughs> and I, I think you know where this is going. <laughs> so what I brought today is the PC of the year 2022. Uh, this was the piece of crap that I used for the uh, Noctua Explain series, where I um, tried to showcase that... Um, aha. Oh, this has torque. I basically polished my hand. Okay, so uh, this is the PC of the year 2022. I used it for the Noctua um, fan explained video. Uh, what I initially tried to do is showcase how much um, static pressure you need to put on your fans to make something like an F12 stand out. Um, and however, very unfortunate, but the result was a very flawed test because um, this is the Intertech Thunder, and it's a case that has support for three fans, where I have two Noctua NF-A12X25s right now in the front, but it has no airflow holes. So uh, the, the fans are just hitting a, a solid plastic panel, which is so freaking stupid. And the only way in is like a little uh, hole in the bottom, which definitely does not work. But this is something that our little drill here can solve. Uh, to give you some sort of context, I have my little monitor attached to it, and right now we are looking at a solid 97 degrees C. We got a Intel 12 900K and then a, a GTX 1650 to have... Yeah, it's a 12 900K, it has an iGPU. Why did I put in the GPU? 
We have the fan spinning at 70% because if I let them spin at 100% I will have trouble recording my own voice. Uh, so 70%. This is a very bad result. Um, we have a Noctua NH-U12A with two of the A12X75, so we got two additional A12X75 in the front and one in the back. So, uh, on paper, this setup should have not the most amazing temps, of course not, but pretty solid temps, and it really does not have pretty solid temps. So let's see if the Hodo machine can solve this. You need to put like my, my uh, idiocy into perspective here. I really want to have it on camera when, when you see the temps dropping, so I cannot like remove the front panel, otherwise it will fluctuate. I want to see it in that curve, but I need to do it really slow, otherwise I will hit the drill into the A12X25 and I will destroy a 20 or 30 euro fan. <laughs> This is working significantly better than I expected. Ninety-eight, say ninety-seven. This doesn't look too positive for now. Uh, let's try to do like one of those uh, mesh things. Let's take the big one. Okay, I would say this is enough uh, torture for a single day. I um, somewhere in this in the middle of it all, I decided to not go with the smiley face because I wanted to have more holes. Uh, so I started to create this. Um, yes, let's call it a mesh structure. It's uh, a beautiful mesh structure. What was the result of using the Hoto Airflow Machina? Well, uh, our peak was at 99 degrees C, which was at some point after I, I read the, the number the first time, and now the temps are down to 94 degrees C, or 95, 94, it's, it's uh, hovering around 94, 95. So we've got a, a 5 degrees C improvement using the Hoto Brushes drill. And uh, 5 degrees C is an amazing result, and plus you, you have your own little uh, piece of art, that you can sell afterwards on eBay or Craigslist or uh, on the streets uh, in, in exchange for a bunch of crack. So, uh, I mean, you can only win using this method. 5 degrees C, you have a piece of art, some crack, everything's fine. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm happy that I didn't destroy one of my A12X25s. It was a possibility for this video, but it didn't happen. Woo. At this point, I would like to thank Hodo for sending over all of their stuff or all those two things. I really enjoy using them and I will keep using them so you will see them uh, come back in future videos. For the drill, I'm not sure if I need a drill, I will use it. Uh, I, I needed a drill, so you, you know, you can use it for this. So yeah, thank you for to Hodo for sending over all of this stuff. Um, although they did not expect me to make a video about it, I thought it was appropriate considering how happy I was with their stuff. Uh, it's not often that I get <laughs> sent like like tools and I'm that happy with tools. That's that's something quite new. Um, but still, thank you for Hodo. Um, if they want to advertise their new drill using a screenshot of uh, of this, they are welcome to. It's uh, yes, <laughs> uh, it's an amazing application for a drill. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please don't do this. It's uh, don't destroy your hardware. Yeah, bye bye.